Peter Tilden. Live and late night. Only on Talk Radio. 790 KABC. This woman comes in the station, Julie Wilson. And she tells me about, because I do the medical show with Dr. Kipper. And we're introduced because you started talking to me about Crohn's, that you had Crohn's disease, which is what? An absorption problem, right? It's a lot of problems. And it, Crohn's was only one. I had ulcerative colitis, too. I had, I had both. Double whammy. Great. And which means, how are you living your life? You know what? Now, looking back, I was hardly living at all. I mean, I was in pain, miserable. Um, Yes, I had a lot of scar tissue blockage right, 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 right. in my intestine. And they wanted to remove part of your intestine. So, a single mom, right? Yeah, yes. And what did you do? Tell everybody. Because you started talking to me about how you, you changed. You decided to change your life by doing some stuff. Yeah, well, no, they, the, the doctors, I got two different, two different opinions. They both told me the same thing. It was a very bleak outlook on my future. I was only 25 at the time. And they said, listen, the only thing you can do is cut out half your intestines. I'm sorry. And I went to the, the next doctor said the same thing. So, um, I didn't really... I felt that at 25 years old, if I cut out half of, of my intestines at that time, what would I do when I was 40? If I'm not going to get to the to the bottom of what's causing the scar tissue, then it's just going to keep coming and coming, and then I'm going to have no intestines. So you did something most. And by, should, I, everybody, by the way, the station goes. So you got to see her. She's smoking. I keep hearing smoking hot, sm <laughs> smoking hot, smoking hot, because they wouldn't figure that somebody's doing research on Crohn's disease <laughs> who is smoking hot single mom. But you decided to take it in your own hands and you changed your diet, right? And, and I did. I, I found a book, and it was all about the healing powers of the raw food diet, organic, raw. And so I just, overnight, like, I'm an extremist, so I just did everything overnight. I was like, I, I went raw, vegan, organic, and then I started implementing herbs, and I just, I, I re completely reversed everything. I, I went back In what to period of time, we shouldn't say, that, by the way, check with your doctor before of you jump, jump in and do this stuff, because what works for one person doesn't necessarily exactly, work for everybody. Exactly. But for some reason, some, some people, you can be in touch with your body. And get a sense for what's wrong with your body and what's good for your body. Okay. We, a lot of us don't get in touch with with our bodies and even take the time. I know people, so many people lactose intolerance, but they don't wait to say, maybe I should try cutting out dairy for a little while and see how I feel. So the raw worked for you, magic, like in big time, right? Because I know Crohn's is debilitating. It's, it's hor horrific, Peter. I mean, I, I was debilitated pain. I had no life. Um, I'm a single mom working two jobs, 25 years old, pain all the what time. What were you doing? What kind of jobs? Um, I actually worked for Harley Davidson. Right. I was a uh, cool uh, marketing that? director, which is cool, but then I bartended too. At I mean, I was very busy, very busy. And all right, so then you did the raw, and how long before the raw vegan slash vitamin slash all natural thing took hold? Well, I felt worse before I felt better. And then I would say about. So why'd you stay with it if you felt worse? Because the more that I read about it, I knew that I was probably detoxing the disease. And I kept feeling worse and worse and worse. I mean, there was days I would just vomit nonstop. Right. And that's probably TMI, but I just felt terrible, and then all of a sudden, it, it just, I was like, I'm going to stick with it. I have nothing to lose. So she does that, and she, she helps with the Crohn's disease, and then, because I meet her with, hey, she has this aphrodisiac, <laughs> and I go, excuse me? Because I was skeptical. I'm hesitant. And then sure. I know you've been advertising on our sister station in New York a long time. You've uh -huh. got some doctors behind it. You have a blank load of testimonials from people who take yeah. this. And the thing that was interesting to me, because I've been pitched a lot. I've pitched a lot of products. But you, were, you came in and you talked to me about the fact that it's all that. It's the only item of its kind that's all that completely natural herbal, correct? Completely. And here's the thing, too. Like, I just want to I just want to stress this so people don't get confused. This is not a product that helps with stomach problems. Right, right. People hear my story and they're like, oh, is this going to reverse? But it, it was my passion because I cured myself of Crohn's and these problems that all of a sudden I realized there's really something to be said for natural organic herbs. Right. And when I started looking into products that line the shelves, one thing that really resonated with me was that all oh, these products say natural, but they're filled with all kinds of chemicals and crap. Right, and they're allowed to say natural. They're, natural's not regulated. So how, you did, know how did you go from Crohn's to orgasms? <laughs> That's a big leap, lady. <laughs> well, you know, when you're in pain all the time, you never want to have sex. Right. So right. all of a sudden you feel good, and you're like, hey, I feel really good in every aspect. So it's survival of the fittest. Okay. But no, I, I, had, I, I knew herbs. I studied them for a long time. So I knew of a formula that was really potent. And what I wanted to do was have the only certified organic libido enhancer on the market. And is that a tough, tough thing to get certified? I know you have got jumped through all Extremely. kinds of hoops to be able to say that. Because I've had many, many products on the other turned down that you can't talk about, you can't say anything. But everybody said you've got to check this out. And talk to her about it. So yeah. there's seven, there seven herbs in there. Is that what it is? Seven herbs and superfoods. It's vegan. It's all natural. It's raw. 
which is why we spell it the way we do. Hot rocks is spelled okay. R A W K S. Okay. Um, so basically, we don't we take the herbs and we don't we don't destroy them by heat. So many times, you know, maca, for instance, is a miraculous root that everyone's talking about right now. But you can't just go to the store and buy maca and expect it to like. I'm only using the pure, the purest raw organic stuff, which means no pesticides, herbicides, fertilizers, fungicides, larvicides. I mean, everything is, is, is pure. And you jump through major hoops to get this thing regulated. Yeah, I mean, there, there's a reason why there's no other organic libido answer on the market. Because I mean, it's tough. It's, it's very tough to make. And, and you, you've been used selling this for how long? How many people have been using this stuff? Uh, I've been selling for about three and a half years. I have a ton of customers. It's insane. Um, I have and celebrities fem on it. Fe female and can well, you, yes. you, yeah, you can't say who the celebrities are yet. I can't. I'm guessing. Yet. Okay. I have a few that uh, all the Dancing with the Stars staff love it. Oh, so, okay. Look, you just threw uh, that out there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I have a lot of um, NFL teams that I ship cases to, but it's because it's a hormone balancer and it's natural, so they they can do it. There's, it's not going to be anything negative on and their drug test. What kind of dosing do you have to take? What, how much of this stuff? Between do you two have? to four capsules a day. It's a daily. Which is what? And what's in it? Can you say what's in it? What's, what kind of stuff is in it? Sure, of course. Yeah. What's in it? Uh, well, I have maca, cacao, which is chocolate and it's raw state. Okay. I have cayenne, which everyone knows what cayenne is. Okay. It's like the miracle right now, but it's a catalyst. So whenever you take ca cayenne with other herbs or products or anything, actually, it intensifies the effect because it's a, it's a catalyst that kind of drives it into the cell wall. Right, right, right. So I have cayenne, I have ginseng, which is where you get the energy from. Okay. I have horny goat weed, I have pomidium. Excuse me? Horny goat weed. A horny goat weed? Does <laughs> yeah. it say, is that the word horny actually in it? It is. It's called, okay, it's, it's scientific name is epimidium. Thank you. But it's called horny goat weed. Okay. It's been called that for years. Okay. It's a Chinese herb. Okay. So you've done a lot of research and there's a lot of people taking this stuff. I've been hearing a lot. about it for a long, long time. Now, are you in a relationship now? Not right now, no. I'm, I'm no, traveled to. Are you really? Yeah, I'm divorced. What the heck happened there? You know, I'm just, I'm busy. I'm, okay, I, I'm right. promoting a sex pill and I'm traveling all the time. I was time. just going to say, so are you on, are you, if you're on this, what are you, aren't you frustrated all the time? You know, I have wannabe groupies, but I'm like, really? <laughs> I'm just kidding. Yeah, and here you are talking about this all over the country yeah. and guys are probably coming on to you every, do you, everywhere you go, do they, or are they put off because they're intimidated? I don't know, maybe both. You maybe think? both. Well, tell us, before you go, tell us how, how they can get the product well, and, how, they, and how to spell it and where to go, what the site is. You know what, that is, I'm, I'm glad you mentioned that because everyone's like, hot rocks, but you spell it H-O-T-R-A-W-K-S. Like, raw. Hot rocks, and it's hotrocks.com, okay. and you can read all about it on our website. You can send me questions via email if you want. Hey, you but blog, you're all over the place. I blog, yeah, I'm all over the place. How long before, how long before you can feel something change here? Everyone's different. Like I said, it's a daily, it's a daily vitamin. It's not a one-time enhancement pill. But um, it, as long as the, you give the herbs a chance to accumulate within the body, it's going to start working. So some people feel it as soon as the first time. Other people say it takes a week or two to build up in their system. Aren't you dying to just meet a guy so you can do this? Well, you know, Come listen, on. I, Peter, I have my regulars, okay? <laughs> <laughs> All right, Shirley Wilson, give it again. It's Hot Rock, R-A-W-K-S, right? That's right, H-O-T-R-A-W-K-S dot com. And she, uh, she writes funny art. You also wrote funny. You wrote a large Rush Limbaugh article. You have a lot of blogs. Well, I'm, I'm like causing a stink with the whole Rush Limbaugh thing. But yeah, yeah. She, she's, uh, she's an imp, you know what I mean? This is not a woman <laughs> who sits back and is very quiet about the stuff. But it's interesting. It struck me as interesting because uh, the, the herbal stuff, the herbal quality to thank this. Thank you, yes, thank So you. thank you for coming on. I'll see you. I know you're going to be on the medical show with us soon. Yeah, soon. Yes. And I'll see, you around, I'll see you around town. And good luck finding a guy. <laughs> <laughs> thank you, Peter. Talk Radio 790 KBC.